Karen Choi, I met her first uh, at a singer-songwriter thing, so I've seen her solo. And she did a, sh uh, a show for us last summer out on our back parking lot. We had a stage out there. Uh, same kind of a situation. She was uh, one of four singer-songwriters. and uh, So I'm kind of excited to see her with a full band tonight. It's going to be good. Yeah, you know what? Give a big welcome, and we'll get them out here. And uh, we're going to do two sets. We'll, be a ha we'll have a break halfway through and uh, get up and mingle a little bit. And so put your hands together for Karen Choi and the band. <laughs> Yeah. 
do you want to tie a bow? When there's been no closure, nothing close. Say it must be for the best. Try to smile through the rest. Oh, remember when we spoke of dreams in your kitchen in the spring? Are you prepared to let it fade? A fuzzy memory of a distant day. You said so little, spoke so briefly. But I heard so much in your silence. I can't let it go that easy. You gave up on your one shot chance. Good to be here together. Um, we're excited to play some music tonight. Uh, yeah, as Jeff said, we'll do two sets. And as this is a pretty laid back venue, if you want to go next door, you can get a drink. We just had food there, it was really good. And bring it over here. I maybe advise against bringing like a platter of hot fajitas over. I feel like that would be hard. Try it. I don't want to tell you how to live, but you know, it might. It might be challenging, but um, yeah, they're right there, and we'll we'll play some music and then uh, take a break and play some more music. But we thank you for spending your evening with us. Um, this is a song called "19." We went walking on a Saturday in late February sun. We turned over all the wild dreams we dreamt when we were young. Now I don't know if this old heart can take another blow. The years gone by, we can't deny.
take me back to when I was 19 Cause all these decades they will grow you up Can't unsee what you see now I stack up lost in a sense like old magazines Wish I knew now only what I knew Shake off heavy fears Now I don't know If this old heart can take another frost I'm a daffodil My hope must bloom despite the risk of loss Take me back These decades they will grow you up Can't unsee what you see now I stack up loss In a sense like old magazines Wish I knew now only what I knew Like when I was Uh, continuing along with that theme, we're going to play a song called Older, which is about the phenomenon of getting older, which as, uh, you know, it happens to everybody, but somehow you're still surprised when it happens to you. And um, Yeah, so this is, uh, <laughs> it's really all it's about. There's sometimes that I can elaborate on the meaning of this other times where it's like, I mean, that's really where it came from, is thinking about what it means to get older and how um, it's uh, something that we all experience in a unique way, and it's all relative to whoever else you're around. But I will say no more. Are you ready? I'm starting this one. He's like, what are you talking about? You're starting this one. We're good. used to have the 
devil on my shoulder now I am left with an angel of clay the truth is that my desires got colder cause I am getting older Thank you so much. Well, a few years ago, actually many years ago now, I lived in a tiny basement apartment with my family. And um, it was, you know, it was when my kids were young and there wasn't much place to go to um, just have a minute <laughs> to yourself. And, uh, and we had this tiny patio, tiny apartment, tiny patio. Everything was <laughs> small and condensed. and. Um, I would always go out there. There's a, there was a big sycamore tree that kind of overlooked the patio, and um, I'm in the habit of forming strange attachments to certain trees, um, and I did with that one. And uh, I just found myself always out there, kind of looking up. The neighbors now probably wondered <laughs> about me, like the third floor neighbors on the opposite uh, apartment. But you know, that happens. Neighbors can wonder about why I stare, <laughs> you know, into the, into the sky at night. Um, and so I wrote this song called Hymn of the Sycamore, and it's really about uh, just that time and um, about looking for something to hold on to when things are difficult.
future comes, I hold my breath. I'll believe where we make it through to see the spring. Red birds they dance, branches are bare. November, I look up with longing. chair stare to the sky evening comes now it's lace with stars in my questions my simple mind my simple thoughts humbly bow down in surrender bow to mystery to Nebraska, which is where I'm from. It's a confusing timeline. Born in Nebraska, moved to St. Louis, went back to Nebraska. Now I'm back in St. Louis. The PowerPoint presentation is after. I'll just <laughs> walk you through the whole thing. Um, but there was a time that uh, I'd moved into um, a new house and everything was empty. And um, you know, there's a certain sound that kind of echoes off the walls when, when they're empty and there's no furniture. And um, there's just this sort of you know, hollow kind of feeling. And um, so I wrote a song about uh, what it is to make a space your home and in a place even, you know, just you're starting out somewhere and you don't exactly know um, how it's gonna unfold and how that place is gonna come to belong to you. Uh, this is called Pictures on the Wall. 
this band of mine because they're amazing and they're up here <laughs> gotta go on say he more. says say more say more about me they physically occupy the space on my stage Chris will take the jewel requests after the show yeah um, but thank you um, so over here on the bass, we have Chris Turnbaugh. Give him a round of applause. 
Back here on the drums, we have Mr. Tony Barbata. And over here, we have Nick Dahlquist on the keys and the guitar. <laughs> the rhythm section is like, okay, calm down, calm down. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I heard a story once about this dog that uh, a family took in and this dog was crazy from a rescue, just like had no um, kind of ability to attach to people and feel safe <laughs> at any time. And um, they lived next to a fairly busy road and the dog always was trying to escape and it was confusing. Like, you know, we know what's gonna happen if you get out of the fence and you're safe here and you're fed and all of that. Um, and so, uh, this song, Lost County, is off of my uh, latest EP, and it's actually the title track on that, that record. Um, <clears throat> and it's about kind of just uh, that same sort of tendency to want to run towards the things that uh, potentially seem um, good for us at the moment, um, instead of knowing like where we belong and, and where to be. And uh, um, I called that place Lost County, and I was listening to a lot of Towns Van Zant when I wrote this song. dark and dreary day and I was looking for a way to chase the thoughts away run them off like a flock of black winged birds I thought I'd see what Tansman's aunt would say but he was broken out of singing now you went away I don't need none of that not today freedom lies just beyond the boundary so we tell ourselves here in the lost county. We need more of that, guys. Come on. It's for them over here. They feel bad about how you cheered for Nick. It was an open door, so I went through. On the other side was sky so clear and blue. Paint the likes of which I never ever knew I pin my heart to you You're gonna rip it off and build a wall I can't get through Maybe I was better off before I ever knew Freedom lies just beyond the boundary So we tell ourselves here in the lost Shock that got locked in where well, you can round with a key and a sideways You deserve to throw your caution to the wind. Freedom lies just beyond the boundary. So we tell ourselves here in the lost county. Freedom lies just beyond the boundary. Chicago once with Nick 
And a woman said, oh, my sister's from West County. <laughs> in St. Louis. And I was like, oh. That was not the same place, but. <laughs> it's close. It is near on the map. They're leaving. They, do, they can't take it. Tony <laughs> once rated my jokes at a five out of a 10, so he's just. He, oh, you're coming back now. Oh, six and oh, a half. Okay. That's an upgrade All for right. sure. He's like, you kind of are dad jokey. Um, Nick and I are going to play a couple for you. Then we'll uh, take a break in a few. Over the, uh, the course of this whole last few years, um, when everything was really shut down completely, um, nobody was able to gather at all. This was, remember, do you remember um, back when we were sharing memes about quarantine and putting photos on our windows of like positive images? This was before we hated each other quite as much as we do now. Um, before all the divisions came. I remember that time. It was like a week or so. And uh, during that time, um, I wrote a song and we passed this back and forth, recorded and released it um, entirely remotely. And um, it was just sort of a, an effort to keep um, music and art and all of that alive in a time that felt really uncertain. Um, and so, you know, we put it out there without a ton of thought, a lot, uh, without a ton of like just that kind of time and studio quality that you tend to have and um, and it's turned out to be one of my favorite songs um, just for what I learned from the process and um, and for you know the time that it was released so uh, this is a song about feeling like your time is running out feeling like maybe the time's running out on dreams something you haven't accomplished and how it starts to kind of hound at you, hound you um, and sometimes that can just take away with what we have right in front of us. Um, this is called Fast Lane. Same. 
When you're a female, call us the hair Monica. Not to, uh, you know, there are long haired males that would love to have their hair stuck in this and be in pain, so it's an equal opportunity employer. Um, sometimes when I'm in a room like this, this is a special uh, space in terms of just the, um, the acoustics of the room and what it has to offer and what it does to the music and what it does to um, the sound that we put out there. So sometimes when I'm in a room like this, I wanna step off the mic for a minute and sing into the room and, and see how it sounds. So I'm gonna sing you this love song. This is called Will You Be. Thank you. 
All right, let's bring these guys up here. We're going to play one more song and we'll take a break. Do what you got to do. Flaming platter of fajitas, anybody? Did I sell you on it? Oh, okay. I didn't, I did not plan that. <laughs> the hair does what the hair does. All right, um, this is a new song called Hard Times. Writing some new music, hope to put it on a record someday, I don't know. Karen, Karen, this is a good song. Thanks, Nick. Hey, Nick, what's up? Thanks. I just want you to know, a this is a good song. from beyond. <laughs> He's biased. He's in the band. <laughs> um, we can talk later, sir. Again, Chris will take your request. Did you want to <laughs> sing the jewel for us? <laughs> okay, I gotcha. Another time, perhaps. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hard times. Don't go anywhere. Got some merch, some uh, T-shirts and CDs, compact discs back there. Thank you. We'll be right back.
thank you all for coming, and um, we're going to let Karen get started with the second set. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. I can't see much out in the audience, but I have seen your hair flowing. <laughs> Silhouettes. <laughs> Thanks so much to the Focal Point for having me. We love uh, playing at amazing venues like this. All right, so a few years ago, um, I think it was uh, maybe August or September, um, my grandmother passed away, and I, around that time, I kept seeing uh, monarch butterflies <laughs> everywhere I went. That was good, Nick. Sorry. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> and cue the... Cool. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> the grandma story. <laughs> um, anyway, so... Around that time, there were uh, monarchs everywhere I looked, it seemed. And I learned from um, an educational program called Wild Kratz. <laughs> you, you may know it. I did not know my crossover fan section was, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that for the older crowd, yes, yes. Um, no offense, you know. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I learned that around that time of year, my, uh, the monarchs migrate down to Mexico. And um, so around the time uh, of her passing, I wrote this song for her. She was also a very elegant person, and um, I, I found it fitting that uh, that sort of represented her. Um, it's called Monarch. You left this earth when the monarchs came to fly down to Mexico, I'd see them float across my days, a little something to hold on. Was a time of year when the summer heat refuses to give in.
swallow you whole. You left this earth when the monarchs came to fly down to Mexico. Bring that band back up. The rest of the band. I mean, we're half of the band. <laughs> the rhythm section. Yeah. That's right. That's what you've been waiting for. I like that cello in the corner. <laughs> 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 this is a safe space. <laughs> Tony doesn't have his set list. We're gonna play a song called Gone. His set list is gone. The song is called Gone. I will not go on. Um, well, all right, well, this is a song off my first album, Paper Birch, which I released, I realized the other day, I released um, a decade ago, October. So 
somehow I've been doing this whole thing <laughs> for like 10 years. Um, and thank you so much for those of you who have followed my music that whole time. I know some of you are here tonight that have followed my music for all those 10 years. And it means the world to me that you come to shows that you um, just, you know, keep showing up to these kinds of things. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a tendency, you know, it's like the grass is greener sort of mindset. Um, and this is really a song about trying to kind of stop yourself from looking at what you don't have, com comparing what you, comparing yourself to others and um, staying where you are looking, uh, being present. And I write a lot about time. Studied philosophy <laughs> in college. I'm very interested in the nature of time, but I found if you're a folk singer, you can't say things like, the nature of time. Tony, what are you doing back there? He's keeping time. Oh, he's keeping time. Oh, man. That got really philosophical. What? What? I have not been drinking my tea. My, tea, my special tea is fine. Um, but anyway, I do find it fascinating. It is not linear. I mean, it is linear, but to each individual, it's a unique experience. What? <laughs> Stop adding your commentary. That's why I didn't give you a microphone.
all those precious years and they're gone, 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 gone. Not the fastest for this ride, left you without me by your side. Now I'm gone, 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 gone. gone. I took the first train out of bed, thinking now all those precious years and they're gone, gone, gone. gone. Door, who got a margarita? Yeah. Yes. yes. I see. Yes. What now? I'm hearing a lot of voices. No fajitas. No fajitas. <laughs> no. Not yet. The night is young. We brought a giant cooler full of fajitas. <laughs> I mean, that's good too. That's that <laughs> lacks the protein, but you know, <laughs> not as much guacamole involved, but it's still good. All right. Um. There's so many times that, as I said, like um, 10 years ago, I put out my first album, and there's so many uh, shows along the way that you play and um, sort of collect the stories as you go. But uh, some of them are good, some of them are not so great, and um, there can just feel, feel like there's times that you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, and, um, and you just wonder why you bother to kind of continue and I think anybody that is trying something that's, you know, working towards something can uh, understand that feeling. And um, but there's just a persistence that comes with, like, I guess any sort of dream um, that you just keep doing it, even if there's nobody at your concert or, you know, trying to think of. <laughs> I don't know. I played in Wisconsin once and the guy kept telling me he didn't think anyone was going to come, like the guy who was running the door. And I was like, you could at least lie. <laughs> don't lead with that. <laughs> He's like, I just don't know. There's a lot going on in town tonight. I don't know if anyone's going to come. OK. And then also at that show, they gave me, they gave us like a little like apartment we could stay in. But it said to not drink the water. <laughs> it was. <laughs> There were hazard signs, but we just wanted to perform and not be told to <clears throat> get off the stage and not to drink the water. So anyway, this is a song about uh, trying to <laughs> continue to, you know, keep at it despite those sort of occurrences and um, having, having a safe place to come home to um, when you're really, you know, feeling it when it's, when it's late dragging all your gear in the door. It's called Hand to Hold. care 
was recording my one of my albums up in Minneapolis, I um, had finished and I was ready to get back to Nebraska where I was living at the time, see the PowerPoint presentation that I mentioned earlier. Um, this was a few years ago. And um, uh, I was, yeah, I'd been up there for a while working on the record and finally finished and it was time to get home. Um, I was actually trying to get home, this was a time that I had lost another grandparent and I was trying to get home for my grandfather's funeral. And um, around the time I was like halfway there, um, it was in Iowa, it started snowing. It was just very quickly became like a foot of snow and um, and I can get kind of tunnel vision, like, you know, it's fine. I know how to drive in the snow, <laughs> it's not a big deal. And um, But when they close the interstate, there's not much you can do. And there's nowhere you can go. So um, they closed they closed the interstate and they uh, directed all the traffic off to this little town in Iowa. And um, so I had a hotel there and um, was just stuck. And I've told this story before, but the next morning I got up to uh, try to leave as early as I could, and um, my doors were frozen shut. And you know, it was just a very northern experience. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so, as one does when you're at a Best Western in a small town in Iowa, you summon the nearby Nordic men <laughs> that are, you know, just around and and like, what do I do? What do I? How do I get into my car? And they, one, a few guys were standing around <laughs> and they decided to try to open it with their elbows, like as in pounding their elbows up the door frame. And so that didn't work. One of them poured hot water <laughs> on it. That also didn't work. But essentially the moral of the story is that I still have the man's elbow marks in my car to remember him by. <laughs> and also the song <laughs> to remember him by. But, um, yeah, I was stuck. There was nowhere to go. And, uh, you know, there's sometimes as a songwriter that you know, like, I, this is going to become a song. <laughs> um, here I am snowed in. And uh, <clears throat> so I wrote this song for the town, named it for the town that I was stuck in, and it's called Clear Lake. See? 
funeral And for them my heart still grieves I did all I could to make it there But the snow was just too deep The snow was just too deep We just have two more for you. Um, it's happening so fast. Played a lot of music tonight. So good. Um, play a couple of these last two, and then I'll go hang out back there. Conveniently located by the merch table. I don't know. Maybe. Stop. <laughs> it's Earl Grey. <laughs> Oh, oh, that guy? That's Joe Choi back there. Hey. Give him a round of applause, my husband Joe. <laughs> All right. This is a song called Mississippi River Heart. Um, I've always found a love for the Mississippi River. Um, when I was up in uh, the Minnesota area for a while, I kind of fell in love with it. And in St. Louis, it's far more industrial really do something about that guys <laughs> um, but yeah it's about kind of learning coming into myself as a songwriter and just trusting I don't know what I had to say and contribute to the world there's it's hard you know uh, doing any sort of thing that you put out into the world I guess I'm not playing the right <laughs> strumming pattern my band's nervous they're like <laughs> please play the right song <laughs> But this is about kind of just learning how to trust what you do. Um, find your voice, I guess. This night, this month, this year have left me tired used up all my tears I'm half expecting gray hairs every time I look in the from the howling wind This road has brought me Oh, my. 
so much for being here tonight. There's many things you could be doing tonight, and we're glad that you chose to spend the night with us. I want to thank my incredible band. Please give them a round of applause. They take everything I do, and they elevate it, make it sound amazing. I'm super thankful for them. Um, all right, this is our last song of the night, <laughs> and it's called Feels Like an Ending. Because indeed it does. I like to end with a song. What's the point of writing a song called Feels Like an Ending? You can't end the show with it. Thank you guys so much for listening. We've had a great time. Hope you did too. Oh
to the pedal, hands on the wheel, vertical pull. And I want to be free. Fly past my window, little bird, sweep me up in your life. Thank you so much, you guys.